Hello community. Welcome back to our channel. Miss Grand International 2024 has indeed captured attention as one of the most memorable editions of the Thailand-based pageant. Miss India Rachel Gupta emerged as the grand winner, with Miss Philippines CJ Opiasa securing the first runner-up position. Both delivered strong performances, making them highly deserving of their placements. This year, Filipino fans were notably more accepting of the outcome, feeling the results were fair, a shift from previous years that had been plagued with controversy and accusations of bias, often referred to as a cooking show. CJ Obiaza, representing the Philippines, wowed the audience with her intelligent and well-delivered response during the Q&A portion. However, Miss India Rachel Gupta was equally impressive, leading to a close contest between the two. Ultimately, Miss India claimed the crown, and the results were warmly received by fans from both nations. Miss Myanmar, a crowd favorite, finished as the second runner-up, while Miss France and Miss Brazil secured the third and fourth runner-up spots, respectively. The top 10 queens from the Dominican Republic, Indonesia, Peru, Spain, and United Kingdom were also declared as fifth runners-up. However, the pageant did not end without some drama. Following the announcement, Miss Myanmar they Su Nayan appeared visibly distraught, and a video surfaced showing her in tears as she was carried down the stage, unable to compose herself. Her national director was also seen removing her crown and sash in what appeared to be a protest. This reaction sparked controversy, as many saw it as unsportsmanlike behavior. While Miss Myanmar was a strong contender, this emotional outburst left a negative impression on some viewers. As many say, character is what truly prevails after a win or a loss. Although Miss Myanmar gave her best throughout the competition, the incident has led to divided opinions. Some believe she no longer deserved her top 5 placement due to her behavior, while others even called for her disqualification. The involvement of her national director, who seemed to escalate the situation, only intensified criticism, as such actions go against the values and advocacy that pageants aim to uphold. A few hours after the pageant, Miss Myanmar's national director made serious allegations against the Miss Grand International Organization and its owner, Mr. Nawadit Saragrizal. These claims cast a shadow over the event, with the director citing three major grievances. 1. National Costume Voting The director alleged that Mr. Nawat announced the national costume with the most votes would receive an award. According to him, Myanmar garnered the highest number of votes but was not given the promised recognition. 2. Country's Power of the Year Award The director claimed that in the Country's Power of the Year category, Myanmar received more votes than Thailand, yet the award was given to Thailand instead. 3. Alleged Bribery for the Crown the most explosive allegation involved a claim that Mr. Nawat approached Myanmar's national director, suggesting they could win the crown if they paid $25,000 for the popular vote. The director recounted that Mr. Nawat allegedly said, if you vote for $25,000, I will give you what you want, the crown. Even if it is not convenient to vote online, you can give me cash. The director stated that he refused, emphasizing that he wanted his contestant to earn the crown through merit, not by purchasing it. These accusations have fueled renewed discussions about the fairness of the competition, with many critics pointing to this as evidence of what they have long referred to as a cooking show, a term used to suggest the pageant's outcomes are manipulated. We are still awaiting Mr. Nawat's response to these serious allegations, as many are eager to know the truth behind them. Nevertheless, Miss Grand International continues to be a highly controversial pageant. However, we cannot overlook the incredible performances of Miss India and the rest of the top five, who truly showcase their beauty and skills on the stage. For us pageant enthusiasts, this year's outcome has been satisfying. Miss India delivered a superb performance, radiating undeniable beauty, while the Philippines' CJ Opiaza once again proved why the Philippines remains a powerhouse in the world of pageantry. Despite the heavy meltdown from Miss Myanmar, which sparked debate and led some to suggest her disqualification, others are pointing out that different candidates might have been more deserving of a top 5 placement. What are your thoughts? Do you think another candidate should have been in the top 5 instead? Leave your comments below and let us know what you think. Thank you for watching.
Remember to embrace your uniqueness and strive for greatness. This is Shale of Shale Dell Entertainment.